with Mirka, the product manager of SIG Sensor Intelligence. Mirka, can you tell us something about the company? What you are presenting, what is the story, and what is the future for it? Yeah, of course. So, so the story of SIG uh, was born uh, in a long time ago. So then the first photo sensor came uh, in the, immediately after the Second World War. And then uh, with this video, we are want to emphasize the milestone of our mm -hmm. group. The 46, the first photo sensor sensor. And uh, afterwards, uh, a long history of a different uh, solution uh, split among uh, so factory, logistic, uh, and also process automation. So the long story seek is not over yet, as you can imagine, uh, but one of the latest solutions uh, are oriented for digitalization and creating a software in order to make these components uh, co-working together to provide uh, a standalone solution, a final solution for our customers. This is uh, another huge monitor so that we would like to uh, emphasize the concept of digitalization. Uh, we would like to show to our customer what they can reach in, the, in their own facilities uh, in order to solution uh, to install. Then we split among the three different macro areas that we use to work. So uh, logistic automation, factory automation and process automation. For instance, uh, if I touch the solution about logistic, I can take a look about my smart factory and then diving into a different slot among my production line and then moving in this 3D virtual exploring, still selecting the kind of application that are suitable for that purpose. So then these are the solutions that are suitable for this part of smart factories and like that, you can show to our customer also the benefit that they will get uh, combining uh, these uh, hardware all together. It's, uh, it's a great uh, let's say feeling uh, and uh, sensation uh, because uh, also this technology has been realized by our industrial uh, devices, the LMS. That's so cool. these are the sensors actually you're selling, right? Of course, right? of okay. course. <laughs> these are our sensors that are suitable user for uh, AGV, uh -huh. for, uh, for robot guidance, for uh, yeah. controlling, uh, for, for everything. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's suitable for our show. Yeah, absolutely. It works perfectly. <laughs> try it, try it. Yeah, I can try it. All right. I can move it. And if I want, for example, to get over here, what happens? It shows me the sensor. Yeah, fast, okay. fast. Okay, okay right. perfect. Short for instance, this is another, okay. this is our solution visionary vision yes, that mm -hmm. are suitable for this particular application. So then, uh, what we want to emphasize is not uh, speaking about, uh, let's say, data uh, related to the sensor itself, uh, mm -hmm. but about the concept of solution. Okay, so general, yes? Okay, yeah. right, okay. yeah. So then here we have in the robotic corner, where we want to emphasize the four micro areas related to our solution uh, in order to be suitable for robotic market. So the first is uh, a hand of arm tooling, as you can imagine. So all devices related to the pick and place uh, of our it's robots are uh, and are placing. Related. Yeah, that's the point. Okay. That's a solution with a pressure sensor, uh -huh. with a photo sensor, with a barcode reader, uh, with a several solutions. So you can read barcodes, you can read shapes, you can read weight, you can read everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For sure. So automotive industries mm. uh, is really so whatever is uh, related is suitable for the robots. So yep. then it doesn't matter if it's, uh, let's say, human robot uh, mm -hmm. or industrial robot mm -hmm. uh, or collaborative robot. Mm -hmm. So all of them require end of arm tooling. Absolutely. Depends on the kind of activity that are must do. Mm -hmm. The second step is related to the robot vision. The robot vision are the cameras. 2D, 3D, different technologies, uh, mm -hmm. laser, so time of fly, whatever. So then also these solutions are the height of the robot uh, and they help the robot uh, to pick the product itself, uh, whatever is uh, positioning on the conveyor itself yeah. uh, or on the plate uh, or in the tank, mm -hmm. based mm -hmm. on the different technologies. Right. The third is related to the position feedback. So as you can imagine, all the robots have different arms, and every arm requires a position feedback. Then this position feedback is uh, obtained by our motion uh, controlling, our solution motor feedback, linear and rotary. So this is a, more or less a model, but this uh -huh. is a normal robot. Theoretically, if you take a look at the normal anthropomorph robots, mm -hmm. so every corner so mm -hmm. require a kind of controlling like that, yeah. to monitoring the tilting angle, the rotary, the rotary angle. Mm -hmm. And then this is the solution that we modelize right, right yeah. now. So that's like here. 
yeah. the band. Well, yeah? the, every corner, <laughs> sometimes uh, they have also okay. on the cart, uh, they are moving uh -huh. linearly. Uh -huh. And then uh, also this solution is suitable to check uh, okay. the different position that is moving. Yeah, I see. It is changing as you disposition it. One, two, three and four. Yeah, all right. So this is uh, reading no. at the moment. At the right end, away. Uh -huh. Okay, right. The last one is related to the safe. Uh, and uh, here is another model for sure that's a uh, remark of what uh, you, uh, you can see later on. Mm -hmm. So then inside of the inside the robot, the laser scanner, yeah, the safety laser scanner that to check the distance, uh -huh. the safety distance of the whatever. So the operator uh, could be mm -hmm. other AGU that, yeah. uh, that maybe are co-working together. Mm -hmm. That is uh, our main product. So in collaboration with the uh, um, speed controlling mm -hmm. our encoder safety also mm -hmm. in this case and uh, in this case and also here. the light guard but that curtain so then in this case uh, all right i understand danger no danger of so it moves slowly because it needs to cooperate with somebody or something yes so? but for sure in the real life they yeah. co-work together and the normal speed and the usual agv speed mm -hmm. no worries all right so when you are introducing sensors into robotics and you make it as a, a ready-made version how do you find industry 4.0 or maybe 5.0 how does it influence us the important thing is to explain the benefit to the customer mm -hmm. because this is the most critical part when you promote the products when you promote the components yeah and uh, most of the time uh, so then the single standalone products are not enough to make mm -hmm. them sure and aware about what they are going to invest mm -hmm. then uh, these solutions uh, all together co-work uh, in order to also make the customer much more understanding and these demos uh, are the example uh, that can uh, support us uh, in a sense promoting yeah, and those demos are very understandable and intuitive. You look at it and you feel like, okay, I could cooperate with that. So that's, it's great for good. somebody who has never been there. Right? Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, it's very readable. All right, so thank you. Thank you too. Uh, thank it's you a for pleasure. the interview. Enjoy the rest of the fest. Hope to meet you next time. Looking to welcome yes. you also next year. Yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao.